Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Wolf Kiff Workshop. As you can see, we're back on the E36 again. Uh, today we're going to be doing some engine work, but in part of that we have to remove the rocker cover. So in this video we're going to show you how to change a rocker cover gasket. Um, this one has been leaking for a while, I don't know if you can see down there. You can see oil leaking there. And on some of the BMWs, like the twin van I've set up, it can have quite a detrimental effect and bring up fault codes and things like that as well. Um, but yeah, I thought I would go through and show you exactly how to change this piece now. Right, so first of all, we have to take these two plastic covers off so that we can actually access the rest of these 10 mil bolts that are on the rocker cover. So what I use is a small flathead screwdriver. I keep my finger on the top because you can ping off and you don't want to lose them. It's a bit of a pain if you do. Um, so it's just simple as they've got little flat ridges. Let's pop them up. And this will actually expose the two nuts in the big cover and two bolts in the upper cover. These are all also 10 mil. So I'm going to be using my 10 mil ratchet. This is just simple. And another thing as well is you can't take this off without removing the oil filler cap. So take that one off very careful not to drop anything in there because that could be catastrophic. Okay. This one should not pop off. I usually leave the nuts carefully inside there because they don't go anywhere as long as you're careful. And that's the first cover off. Then I'll put this one back on just like I said to stop any debris falling inside the engine cover there. So now we move on to this top cover, I mean, you can see the 10 mil bolts we need to access through here. And effectively, you probably could take it off without taking that other cover off, but I just find it easier because there are other, other factors as well, like this pipe we're gonna have to pull off and just having the extra, the extra room just makes life easier all for the sake of 10 mil bolts. Better to take more off and struggle less, is what I've always been taught. Again, same sort of thing with this one. Only thing you will find that on the M54s, like on my 330, my E46, with the twin vanos set up, which will have a square air front rocker cover, you will find on some of them that these will actually be interlocked. There'll be tabs, so you may have to lift them off in two bits. But on the M52 engine, which is on the E36, the E39 5 series, and things like that, you should be fine. Right, now we've done this, um, it's given access to that is actually the oil ring off of the oil filler cap, nothing to worry about. But this is actually given access to the six pencil coils for the ignition. Um, so what the next step is, is to take them off as well to give us more room. It's just a case of flicking these up and then that lets you pull the electrical connector out like that. And same again for that one. This one. And so on. But if yours are a bit tight on there. Another way I'll show you on the last one you can get them out is again you can just get a flat blade screwdriver put them in there and it'll just pop it up like that. But these ones have all been off from various other works so they're actually quite easy to get off. Except for this last one has been a bit of a pain. There we are. Right, um, once they're all off it's just again a series of 10 mils um, holding these on. So just carry on. And also, you'll have these earth straps, which always go on the number six coil and the number one coil. Now, these bolts, provided you remember what they're for, it doesn't really matter if you mix them up. However, just as a code of best practice, when I get the coils out, I usually lay them out like uh, from one to six, so you know exactly where they're going. And these ones should just pull out nice and easy. What you can do is actually remove this panel here, which makes it a lot easier to get on, uh, like onto. The other thing as well is with the 5 Series, a few of the others, you'll have other pieces of plastic and things like that to try and get onto uh, or try and move out the way. But uh, the E36 is one of the more forgiving BMWs, so you can see pretty much everything you need to get out, which is good. 
Yeah, what we'll do next, sorry, I kind of got a bit ahead of the camera, take this rubber seal off. Then also there's three connect clips there. This is where your pollen foot would be, I guess, and everything else. But uh, yeah, you can get access then to two Phillips head screws, which are right there and also one there. Once they're unbolted, this piece of wiring along here should be able to be pushed down and out the way. And then also I'm going to attack these eight mils then, which means I can pull this whole panel out the way then, which means it's just a straight view from there down then. Again, it's not, not an essential thing you have to do, but it just makes life so much easier to get to these bits at the back. Should have gone for a shorter screwdriver, but this will do what I need it to nevertheless. There you know, one Phillips head, and you can see this has started moving. But again, like I say, it's better to work smarter, not harder. There's those two up, so this is now completely independent. You can't do a great deal with it at the minute, but when I move this out of the way, it'll make life a lot easier. Okay, these nuts are actually seven mils, or these bolts even. Stuck slightly stranger size, not a standard eight, like I thought or originally stated. That side, but it should be a case of just pulling that out now. Like I said, you've got all this room then. This is a little bit in the way, but you can kind of move it around just to see other things and get to things. But without that, you can fit your hands, sockets, everything in this back piece beautifully. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna move some of this wiring, because as you can see, um, these are for the oxygen sensors and the exhaust, but they run right down the back. You don't really need to remove the whole connectors, but just these little plastic wiring retaining clips. Move them out of the way and it's beautiful because that'll give you that extra bit to move them away and around them as you need to and you can even pull these out of there to give yourself that extra bit of room then and the next, be next best bit now is to move back to the rock cover and another thing to move out of the way so is this one but as you can see there's actually another earthing wire that comes out of the main harness into there so what i always do next is take these these earthing points off and they are actually eight mils so need that one and i have a ratchet yeah, so these are eight millimeter nuts on top of the tens underneath if you remove the eights first having a magnet comes in handy but that one's removed from there and then you do the same with the two earths either end they go on the actual coils as well so similar sort of thing try not to drop this nut yeah then these wires come off them make sure you don't misplace them because they can cause issues if you do them free this piece of wiring is a piece of slash really you can usually just pull it off if it's the same as my 46 and lean it forward to pull it off but go carefully don't break anything but there we are and then this whole piece can be just moved up I usually move it up here out the way and it's just there uh, there we are the next part is this which you've got to be, I would say you have to be very careful with because with time these become very brittle. Um, I find that out, I found that out with one of my old 5 series before. So best bet is just to really, really take your time with this one. It's my plan anyway. Sorry, my hands in the way I know, but yeah, you just 
squeeze these two together. It's usually enough. There we are. Alright, so the next thing now, as you can see, this is completely detached from everything else. So the final part of this now to get this apart is to take these 10 mils off. Uh, so there is a sequence, I believe. We usually start in the middle and work your way out, do it like a head gasket. But that's, that's my plan anyway, is what I'm going to do is uh, yeah, to find these 10 mils straight out. Alright, some of these, some cars, the washers stick in place, but I like to take them off because I made the mistake on my uh, I made the mistake on my E39 5 series of not taking them off and then when I took the rocker box itself off I ended up losing them all across the floor which was not the cleverest thing to do I will admit so So now with all the bolts out of the way, there's nothing to do but crack this off. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. I'm going to try it with my hands first. Let's go having a gentle tug on this pipe. There we are. We can take this whole thing off then. And it looks a bit of black death, but you can see this is exactly why you change them. Is they stop being rubbery and start becoming more plasticky and things start breaking. I mean this one. This one's not the worst one I've ever seen, I have to admit, not the worst one I've ever had. Alright, so now we've got the gasket off and I've pulled all the old bits off. These are the new ones. You can see how much more pliable they are, which is brilliant. This can be the awkward bit, you've got to make sure that this goes in. Let those rubbers sit square on the back there. So it always folds in quite nicely, but you kind of got to do it by feel. You can't see it at all, it's too close to the bulkhead. But that feels like that is on perfect. So I'll go get the, the bits I need to bolt it back down, and then the job's a good one. Right, so now you're on the home stretch. All you have to do is basically put your car back together in exactly the reverse order that we took it apart on. I will try and remember to put the torque settings in the description below the video. Um, but yeah, thank you for your support with this. If you like the video, then give us a like and a subscribe just to let us know. And there will be a lot more content coming soon, including Wolfkiff walkarounds, project car updates, and also a lot more hints and tips and technical data to do with the repairs we're doing on the cars we've got here. So thanks very much, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.